So to make that little garnish here, I'm going to use a garlic clove, a piece of carrot, a porcini mushroom, no that's not a porcini mushroom, that's a creamy mushroom, and some thyme here. I have some nice fresh thyme. Okay, so I'm going to make very thin slices of those vegetables first, and you'll see what we do with them after. I have a, see some kind of Japanese mandolin here, ceramic blade, and that one's going to allow me to make very thin slice of uh, that carrot here. You want them very, very thin, it's very important. Okay, make nice slices like those. I'm going to put those aside for now. Here. Yeah. I'm going to do the same with my creamy mushroom here. We want to be very delicate with the mushroom. The mushroom needs to be very fresh and firm if you want to be able to slide it correctly without breaking it and being able to get some nice little slices like those. Okay? Put those right here. We need to work fast with a mushroom because they might oxidize and turn a little brown on us. Okay, now the garlic, same thing. Very thin slice. I don't apply much pressure eh, on the mandolin here so I don't make too thick of a slice. And those are going to come right here. Okay? Now the time, I'm just going to remove it from the stem this way. Keep it right here. That's going to be a kind of drizzle into that little chips I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, so this is part of my mise en place. Then I have a potato here. I'm going to show you uh, how we're going to slice those. Actually, to slice those, I'm going to use that machine here. This is a great, we call those a vegetable shitter. I hope I don't say the, the word wrong, uh, but it's going to allow me to make long sheets of that potato here, like a long and large ribbon, okay? This is what that machine is going to allow me to do. I'm going to do that in a moment. Before I need to uh, go back to those here and I'm going to make tiny little round with it using a pastry cutter like that. I'm going to poke into it to get little round slices. Like that. Should have enough inside here. Okay, so now I have those little piece of carrots here like that little round, okay? Same thing with my garlic. So you need a, a garlic clove that's going to be large enough to allow you to do something like that. Okay. So I should have enough here. I have like 10 slices of each, the carrot and the garlic. Now the mushroom is going to stay like that. Okay, so for the potato, I'm going to take a potato here. I'm using a large Idaho potato. I'm going to trim the end. This way, okay. Now, the tricky part on that machine here. So that's the way. That's the way that machine works here. It comes with blades, different style of blade. This one is going to allow me to make uh, those large ribbon I just talked about. There's others which I could make some kind of fish net with. So you have another one that come like that, and this one will allow me to make uh, a fish net. That design here, I may make something like that later on. I'm not sure exactly what's the name of that machine because it's all in the Japanese, I think. I got this one me at a store in New York City called GB Prince. Then you have another one that's like that, that allow me to make some kind of spaghetti with those vegetables. Here I'm using potato, but you could use a carrot, you could use beet, many other one. And I will actually use that machine to make different garnishes with many different vegetables. And here is a little handle that I need to release. 
So that piece come out. I need to uh, put that into the potato actually. Then I would put it back this way, lock it, and I will turn it like that. And you will create this uh, ribbon. So I put it together here. Now the tricky part of that machine I learned is, is to be able to stick that piece of metal here into the center of a potato and come out here into the center too. So it is really tricky. So the way I do for me what works is I put, try to push it halfway here and then I turn it and I do the same on the other side and hopefully those two reach. And I do it like that. And I think, okay, it come out well. Now we're gonna put it in. And this is how it is on it. Okay, put that back into the machine, lock it, pull that, and now. So that machine, if you feel, if you use one, uh, you never want to force on it, you know, or it might break. Okay, and here I go. I'm going to make those potato chips here. And look at that. Look what I just made. Isn't that cool? That's a great machine. This is all my slice of potato, my old potato here that's been sliced. Okay, so when we have that, we cut it up from here. Other side here. So now I have that big, big ruban here. Cut that ruban here. Let's see. I'm gonna trim it so I have nice pieces. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna make one that size here. I'm going to match with another one exactly the same length. Okay. Give that aside. Okay, and now I'm going to build my ships into that. So, I'm going to take a piece of mushroom right here. I'm going to put it here this way. Okay. Oops, the same here. So the mushrooms are very fragile, huh? Be careful. Okay. Now I'm going to take those little dots that I made here, and I'm going to decorate and arrange them around this way. Then I'm going to take my little slice of carrots and I'm going to arrange them around like that. Oops. Now I'm going to take the garlic and do the same in between each piece of carrot. Like that. And like that here. And my last one right here. Okay. So we're trying to have some room in between. Like that. Then I'm going to take the other slice and I'm going to cover it. Then I'm going to take the other slice of potato. I'm going to put it right on top here like that. Right this way okay now I'm going to cut in between each one of them voilà. I'm going to put those aside for now this way oh one thing I forgot the time Need to put my little time here. Little pieces of time. 
inside too. Huh? Just like that. So you do the same on the other one. Okay, now I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to cut a piece of it this way. And another one. So generously, I brush those. So if you see my other video on the chorizo chips, same thing. But I'm going to repeat here. Okay, now I'm going to place those on it, this way, I'm going to take the other parchment paper, I'm going to actually brush them a little bit more here to make sure I have enough, and I'm going to put it this way here. Now I have a pan here in which I'm going to slide those on. Okay, and now on top of that I'm going to place my brick on top of it and we're going to bake that. Okay, I'm going to put that in the oven at 280 degrees. It's going to take, I would say, 25 to 30 minutes. Here we are, those beautiful potato chips here with garlic, carrot, and mushroom. Thank you, and happy cooking.